Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 <clears throat> War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our no short run where we're trying to beat uh, the legendary Iron Man difficulty with only swords and sorcery, no shooting, no explosives, no heavy weapons, nothing is allowed, only pure melee and some psionics. It's time for a supply raid and it is important for us because we want the second gatekeeper shell that is actually important to upgrade the Psy um, amplifiers. So to mark that mission we're going to go in with two Psy-Op characters. Got Roby, got Zirkim, Sonar and Hawkby, pretty much the A-team. I just wanted to like crush a mission for once and uh, go in just in case uh, the hunter might appear. I just want to be ready for whatever. This team is pretty strong so if I can't do it with that team uh, we we'll, might be in, in trouble. This is pretty close to the team that you might uh, see on the last mission of uh, this run. Let's go. Fantastic. Let's get going. Oh, look at that. We got a double agent uh, right here. Well, hello there, concealed elite trooper. Well, that's one less elite trooper that we need to take care of. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. The firebrand will handle the rest. Alkbyd moves in. The elders have a patrol here. And let's just double move for now. Okay. Good. So far, so good. Zirkim moves as well. Roby, I Already suppose, there. moves as well. Edgar Alien Poe and Dark Tarnaxus might actually move a little bit Gotta further. Go. I like the high ground for them. Elite Trooper is really just a mimic beacon in disguise. No and Sonar is moving up there. <clears throat> None of which should trigger anything. Okay, this pack looks like it would have lost um, one of its members. So that's probably where the Mimic Beacon was coming from. Roby. That is strange. Does he... Look, Roby has that innate ability to always throw an axe. But also has the katana. So whenever we give him the katana, he has the benefit of both of the weapons. I don't know how that bug came about. Must have had something to do with him being like in the sick bay or onto, uh, on a mission and then probably retaining the weapon for whatever reason. But boy, boy, that is a strong bug. He, <laughs> he has the best weapon in existence. Like all of the advantages, none of the disadvantages. Good, Robbie charges in. Setting the scene a little bit. Oh, look at that. He pulled some more. Who would have guessed, right? Who would have guessed? That's going to be lightning reflexes. Yep. Not very surprising. All right, on the other hand, we get some more enemies, I suppose. Good, we're just using advanced teamwork at this point. One quick slice. To let Roby slice and dice. So that's a kill. With a kill, we're going to have Emplaceable and also, of course, Untouchable. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't need to mark anything yet. Could move all the way up to here, but we potentially would pull additional targets. If, if you say so. so that's a move. Of course, pulling additional targets. Obi is doing a full job. No half-hearted jobs here. So let's continue with our full job. Originally, I wanted to kind of set up uh, the uh, purifier. But now that we have uh, started to commit for a full slaughter, might as well continue and go ahead with it. Out of curiosity, yeah, we put inspire. Let's see, void rift. Yes, borrow enough. Acetated discharge also not far enough. And the protocol just out of range. How could we get? How could we get the mech in range? Yes, you should do it, right? Oh no, we got. Division block it, uh, blockade over there. This here potentially could do it. Still pretty far away. Orders confirmed. Moving out. But might as well give it a try. Alright. Definitely out of range. Gotta capacitate a discharge if we so desire to do that. Do we have... No, we can't. We can't evade Overwatch. I, I hate Overwatch. Alright, uh, let's use Psionics. Whenever you do have a problem that you feel you can like solve with normal means, try Psionics and it'll go away. Good. We got Inspire. Charging up. Moving in closer. I give you strength. And we're inspiring. There you go. Guess what? Yet another kill. It's dead. It has to be dead. Reaper is still going. Have we just triggered yet another pack? No, not yet. But close. Good. Hogbite could theoretically hand over another teamwork if we so desire. And instead of doing oh, that, how about we're... Doing a very simple mimic beacon to save the day. 
Good. Elite Trooper moves in. That's another Mimic Beacon. Zirkin moves in. Sona moves up. And Hogbite moves up. Alright, that's one hit. That's a kill. Check it before you get too close. That's untouchable. Taking heavy fire. And that's another attempt to go for the mimic beacon. Yeah, so far so good. We're pretty deep in for kind of round number two. Moving up. Marking the supplies. Moving further up. Potentially marking even more supplies. That supply crate over here, I would still like to get it. But let's wait for it. As much as I love to take that, it'll be probably too far away in order to reach this guy afterwards. Out of curiosity, mm, that would be an interesting little gimmick. So we could stasis almost anyone, but I think for the time being, I, I really like the idea of fuse. I also really like the idea of like dealing some damage, but I think fuse is particularly interesting because it will explode and let that guy deal with being shredded. Very good. Now, we don't want to dominate him. Is it clear? Instead, let's move over here and maybe see if we can dominate the officer. Let me in. Oh boy, psionics are just too strong. I like it. Game changing place right there. Good. We got this uh, unfortunate situation right here, which we need to solve. Good school mine, but I don't feel that that is a good idea at this point. Instead, common protocol to soften him up. And we got to put some more focus on Hogbite. Perfect. There he is. Three out of three focus. Moves right to the crate. We're not go uh, letting anything go to waste here. Okie dokie. Sirkim theoretically has a Mimic Beacon, that's reassuring. Because the next action could or might as well trigger another pack. There's still one uh, around here. Oh, 
But I sort of want to see how far I can push it, to be honest. But let it be a core, please. Oh, I definitely got that one. Nope. Unfortunately, not a core. It's heavier than it looks. Uh, we're just going to um, stay back. The reason why I want to push it is I want to see just how much this team can handle. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace 1 5. Okay, fantastic. We're marking supply crates. Let's leave him here. I think that's fine. Uh, the elite officer could start moving in. I bet you the last pack is over there. Closing on target position now. Good. Getting it done. We're moving up. What's over there? Hit Galleon Poe. Charge us in all the okay, way over here. Burned. And Hopbite begins to the summon a ghost. Just to make the team a little bit stronger. And put more, even more bodies on on the field. Between all of the double agents Got it, moving. and the mind-controlled enemies, it almost feels like we're overpowering uh, the enemies a little bit here. Templar Ghost moves up. Yeah, we're just ending the turn here. Good, we got ourselves a few newcomers. So far we have not taken a single point of damage. Uh, mark the supplies, yes please. Elite officer cannot really do anything. We just... We've just taken him for shits and giggles. Okay, so can we maybe mind control one of uh, the guys? Probably not going to happen. They are too far away. Yeah, that's a stretch. Yeah, we know that there is a pack back here. And I don't simply want to run in okay. like a madman. Let's much rather uh, pull them to here. Mark the supplies and I would like to make sure that we're getting all of the supplies, so... We're actually charging over move, here. Move, move. Edgar Alien moves up. Hogbite definitely moves up here. Darktown Oxus moves up. Yeah, the trooper might as well mark the supplies. I don't mind at this point. Templar Ghost moves up. Good and Zirkin moves up. Let the Archons come down. We're marking a few crates. And can we hit 
one of these guys. No, we can't. No. We're just going to end the turn then. There we go, that's the double blade storm I was hoping for. Fantastic. Good. To add insult to injury. We're moving up. Domination. Don't hit the other guy. Your body grows weak. All right, just so far him. Hello there. Hostile target down. Alright, moving up. You know, why not? Let's let's swarm the Archon and make him feel really, really bad about the situation. Still up. Of course, only if we're actually hitting. Quiet continues to move up. And just because I want Hawk Bite to get like three focus again, what we're going to do is we're inspiring him. And he takes yet another kill. All right, Archon's down. Yeah, and at that point, we're at more than enough uh, focus. Double parry for him. We're just going to move everybody over here. Stepping off. By the way, that's the beauty of having a high speed. Can easily traverse the entirety of the map. Okay, okay I'll go. Moby takes first move over here. Marking some of the supplies. And we're doing the same Moving down here. Pretty sure we're going to see the enemies back there. Zirka moves up with Roby. Hawkbite moves up. Carnoxus moves up. The ghost moves up. Damn it, we got so many like units. If you were playing kind of the normal game at this point with ten units, it's almost impossible with, with so many like actions to even lose. Pretty difficult pack, by the way. Triple Archon plus uh, uh, plus the Eyeball. I'll give the game that. It is a difficult attack. Uh, a, a difficult pack. Lots and lots of hit points to chew through. But you know, 
Point being... If you deal with psionics overall, it's not that difficult anymore. Can drive insanity here. Fifty fifty on a domination. That is hilarious. We also got a Mimic Beacon, so might as well fuck it. We're playing it safe how I would normally play it. So double stasis, just to annoy the enemies. Let's take a look. Uh, this here is, anyways, just a scout. Okay, gatekeeper, time for a bit of a payback. If you want someone who's immune to the gatekeeper, we're using our ghosts. He's not fully immune, but I mean, closest thing to immunity, I suppose. Uh, how quite definitely is fully immune to the gatekeeper. Keeper will take damage from both of them, but not fully die. Repairing. Okay, wait, that one would hit uh, both of them. Nullance is just so strong. Imagine it with even more, even more damage. Okay, can we hit uh, both of them again? Probably not, not the right angle, but we can certainly hit the eyeball again without a chance for retaliation, which is hilarious. Yeah, and he's probably going to die due to due to our blade storm. Good, Zirkim here. Could do what Zirkim can always uh, do, which is moving up, looking good, looking sharp with that thrown axe. Seventy percent, unfortunately missed. Too bad. Fantastico. Advanced teamwork so that we can finish the eyeball. And we're going to finish that Archon down here. Is that a core? It, right? Well, not really. Okay. Alright, the eyeball will die. Confirmed. 
but we can technically hand over even more. I could capacitate this charge right now, which we're not going to do. I think we're just going to end the turn and let the eyeball die by Bloodstone. Okay, let's go. Zirkem. Starts hitting guys. I want to make sure that we're not losing a single crate here. As much as I like domination. I think we're simply better off with handing over more power to Zirkim. There we go. Oh, it's a kill. Archon takes some damage. Starting to hit him with uh, Hogbite. And just for shits and giggles, I think we're going to use Soulfire to judge Drat him. You are being judged. Bam! Down he goes. And that's a perfect mission. Flawless. Just like the A team is supposed to work. No mistakes, just straight up stomping. Good, we got ourselves, of course, no promotions, but yeah, quite a uh, quite a bit of uh, kills assembled. I might highlight Hogbite is almost at 300 kills. Got plenty here. And the most important part is, did we get a gatekeeper shell? Yes, we did. Fantastic, thank you, game. Because now... We can finally, finally... Do the alien Psyam that we've been looking for since a while. So, I am wondering... Yeah, I think it does not show us uh, the amount of damage it uh, deals. Yeah, it does not. But I'm pretty sure it was up to 15. Void Rift should be much, much stronger as well. I wish there was an option to just reduce the cooldowns. Uh, that would be awesome. I would even probably trade in some conditioning for it. Like a PCS that, for instance, reduces um, all of your cooldowns by one. That would have been a strong one. Good. We could get more intel, but really not needed at this point. Since it's a new month, let's just check the black market. Might as well get some advanced speed, I suppose. Superior speed. No, 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 no. Uh, that is not a good sign. The UFO came out of nowhere. Superior conditioning, yes. That's okay. Don't need an engineer. Certainly don't need any of the rest. And yeah, we also... We really don't need to sell anything. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, there's still a UFO hunting us. And if I can prevent it, I would really like to not be hunted down.
I want a nice little peaceful training. Good, we got Void Rift, that is fantastic. Want to definitely go with that. Another huge damage ability that also works on the sarcophagus. Good, we... I think we got what we wanted. Avatar Autopsy is still... Yes, Commander. Missing. I will make that our highest priority. Yeah, we're we will require to first of all do the black side mission with a suit that's still open. So that is something we haven't done thus far. And I think now is a potentially good time for it as well. Kind of another storyline mission. Do we have all of uh, the necessary people here? Yeah, we could try to get that bond to level three, which would help us even further. So might as well take them on the mission. Could take the exact same team that we just had. It worked absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a really difficult mission. I think we can uh, kind of walk over it, uh, but it needs to be done. So let's do that as a next mission. I actually look forward. It's the mission that originally introduced the sector pod is kind of the heaviest uh, um, infantry from Advent side. So might as well uh, kill that sector pod, get the suit and get out of there. Maybe the hunter shows up. That is a possibility, but if we do have two Psy operatives and now the upgraded um, amplifiers, that should be fine. I am not sure how much damage um, we would deal, but I think it is 9 to 15 with a null lens, 6 to 8 with a void rift, if my memory serves me well. And. We also got uh, Insanity for some extra damage, around 3 to 4 on the highest uh, on the highest level. Fuse deals a little bit more damage, just like the explosions uh, would. And what else do we have? I think we had just a normal, uh, just the normal uh, soul fire. Not sure why I'm not finding it. I think it's the standard soul fire. But yeah, the soul fire deals, if my memory serves me well, around six points of damage as well. So plenty to get the uh, hunter down, if if we were actually to uh, to fight it again. And uh, that sort of gets us to the end of uh, this mission. Got another uh, golden path mission, and as long as I can evade the UFO, we should be also fine. We're kind of on our course. Um, as you can see, to to uh, learn uh, further Void Rift and Null Lens training. So um, towards, if we just look through that, towards the end of the month, we have Null Lens, we have Void Rift, we have another Null Lens. Um, we maybe get in one more training here, and then it is time to approach uh, the uh, the chosen himself. I know that. Uh, heads here the, this guy has the normal soul fire as well so that ability might be helpful if we're if we're fighting against uh, the chosen so I'll try to uh, delay that as long as possible just to get the damage abilities and then our team to fight the chosen will be four psi operatives and probably um, one Templar plus one um, specialist and that should be plenty and yeah that's going to be a heavily psi active mission um a fun one a fun one anyways guys if you like what you've seen um consider subscribing to the channel or leave a comment down below and see you in the next run bye bye